Hello everybody, DSC guy here today. Today I'm gonna show you how to run a test on your Radwags in a 50 slash 1.x2. First thing we're gonna do is put his original parts. So we're gonna lift up the hood. First piece is gonna go in there as a heat shield. This, are, it's already in the unit, but I took it out so I could just show you guys while I'm putting this in. Second piece. The draft shield and the last piece the pan support just put it there gently and slowly just turn it into a drop next we'll connect your unit keep the hood closed on this unit I'm just going to change my test parameters from my uh, standard solution. So I'm going to run a liquid standard solution form that we have here. It's really quick. And now, the first thing we're going to do is have an aluminum dish ready. fiberglass pads have these put together I'm gonna place these inside the unit on top of my pen support make sure it's not touching the sides so I just need to do some adjustments Close it. Now we press this little green triangle here. Press the check mark. And now I'm going to add my sample. That's the standard solution we have here. I'll add about gonna start the test you should see the light blinking already okay once it ends it's gonna give you this attention high temperature it's nothing bad just it's just telling you that it's still hot so just hit the check mark and it's gonna give you results the time how long it took and remember this is hot you could just let it cool down but I could take this out easily and don't reuse this this is trash if you're gonna run a new test just make sure you get new aluminum dish and new pads place them in and press right here complete and you press this arrow once more here again and you just press the check mark and you're ready to run a new test Thank you for watching our videos. I'll leave a link to all our accessories I showed in this video, as well for the moisture analyzers. If you have any comments for the DSCers, please call us or leave us a message below. Visit us at www.dscbalances.com. And thank you for watching.